Sidney Finkelstein, Superbosses, How Exceptional Leaders Master the Flow of Talent. Welcome to the fascinating world of a Superbosses, the exceptional leaders who master the flow of talent. In this summary of Sidney Finkelstein's insightful book, you will discover the different types of superbosses, iconoclasts, inglorious bastards, and nurturers, and how they inspire and lead in their unique ways. Learn how a superboss's vision, fearlessness, and competitiveness play crucial roles in molding their leadership style. Delve into their charismatic personalities and their ability to create lasting relationships with employees. Finally, explore the strategies employed by these superbosses to recruit, motivate, and develop winning teams. Types of Superbosses The book explores the concept of superbosses, bosses who go beyond conventional management approaches and inspire their employees in different ways. There are three types of superbosses discussed, iconoclasts, inglorious bastards, and nurturers. Iconoclasts are visionaries who inspire their teams with their dedication and passion. Inglorious bastards are driven to win and push their employees to their limits to achieve success, while nurturers are caring mentors who guide and support their team members. Each type has a different approach to management, but all have the potential to take careers to the next level. The book provides further insights on how each type of superboss can help employees achieve their career goals. The Qualities of a Superboss A superboss possesses three key qualities, vision, fearlessness, and competitiveness which are intrinsic to their being. Their vision enables them to see solutions where others see problems. Their fearlessness allows them to take risks and seek innovative opportunities. Competitiveness is the trait that drives them to seek and create competition. These characteristics define the worldview of a superboss. In addition, to be an effective superboss, they need more than these three traits. The Charisma of Superbosses Superbosses possess certain qualities that make them stand out and create a lasting impression. Their integrity, authenticity, and commitment to their core values attract and inspire people. They prioritize their employees' personal growth and invest in their development. In addition, superbosses are not afraid to be themselves and show vulnerability, which makes them likable and memorable. Tommy Frist, the founder of Hospital Corporation of America, was known for his familial focus and pride. Yorma Panula, a conductor at a Viennese music festival, commanded respect through his unwavering focus on musical quality and the audience's experience. These are just some examples of how superbosses operate and influence their surroundings. Through their unique talents and leadership style, superbosses create an environment that values growth, creativity, and excellence. The Superboss Secret to Employee Recruitment Superbosses thrive on hiring top talent. They search for candidates who possess intelligence, creativity, and flexibility. Ralph Lauren, for instance, valued fashion intelligence, while Norman Brinker, Larry Ellison, and Roger Corman listened to prospective employees' ideas during interviews. Flexible candidates show a capacity to solve problems even in unfamiliar situations, and superbosses appreciate this talent. Thus, they often assign new hires to jobs that aren't tied to their previous experience or education. To truly succeed, hired employees need motivation. How do superbosses achieve this? Find out in the next section. The Superboss Strategy A superboss is not just interested in what employees can do, but in pushing them beyond their boundaries. A superboss continually raises expectations, inspiring and motivating employees with their confidence. Employees perform well not because they are forced to, but because a superboss encourages them to do so. This strategy has two sides, pushing employees to their limits and beyond, and allowing their confidence to rub off on the whole team. The ultimate goal is to push the business forward and upward. Former Ralph Lauren employee Kenny Thomas recalls how working with Ralph Lauren allowed young designers to reach levels of excellence they had never dreamed of. Similarly, 
Former San Francisco 49ers player Dwight Clark remembers how coach Bill Walsh's supreme confidence was contagious, making the team's players confident too. When a super boss is involved, there is even more to teamwork. Winning through bonding. Business is like a match race where winning demands a closely knit team working harmoniously towards a common goal. Excellent leaders create two approaches to bonding in the workplace vertical and horizontal ties that help employees feel connected to each other and leaders. These bonds allow a friendly rivalry that fosters positive performance and productivity. Lorne Michaels, the producer of Saturday Night Live, created a sense of family while encouraging competition by hiring more members than he needed regularly. This move made the cast members work hard to enhance their sketches and improve the show's overall quality. Excellent leaders must ensure that competition does not destroy team bonds by building genuine emotional relationships. These sorts of associations boost past superbosses' reputations and help attract a new generation of talented employees, creating growth opportunities. Roger Corman's biographer stated that the movie director aided previous employees in finding success elsewhere, confident that their success would reflect positively on him too. The Superboss Quotient to become a super boss, you need to have a vision for your business that inspires both you and your team. Express that vision in one sentence and return to it whenever you or your team need motivation. Furthermore, the comfort level of your team's socialization outside the office is a good indicator of their closeness and overall performance. Finally, it is important to allow your team to tackle challenging tasks and have faith in their abilities. These three questions make up the superboss quotient, and by honestly answering them, you can guide your business to success as a superboss. In conclusion, the exceptional leadership qualities of superbosses have been unraveled in Sidney Finkelstein's Superbosses. These inspirational leaders, armed with unwavering vision, fearlessness, and competitiveness, unlock the potential of their employees and mold them into highly effective teams. Through an understanding of the three types, iconoclasts, inglorious bastards, and nurturers, one can gain moments of learning from each example. Furthermore, the questions posed by the Superboss Quotient act as a guiding light for honing one's own leadership abilities. Embrace the lessons learned from these extraordinary leaders and embark on the journey to become a Superboss yourself.